I have decided that my true self is a man. I actually have a very serious um, announcement to make, and you guys are all hearing it here first. My husband is backstage. He does not know this yet. <clears throat> but um, I have decided that my true self is a man. Yep. It's how I identify myself. Um, it's my truth. It's what I want to be. It's how I feel. And I'm a man. Despite having um, breasts and not a chest, I am a man despite having a cervix that went from a zero to a 10 in dilation for having three different girls. I am a man despite having a uterus which had eggs in utero, by the way. I'm a man despite my body being able to create a placenta three different times to grow and sustain those three aforementioned children that I talked about. I am a man despite having had a menstrual, menstrual cycle every month for over 20 years. I am a man despite the fact that there are two X chromosomes, one of two sexes, that was determined at, at the time my parents made me. I'm a man despite the fact that my bone mass is incredibly and biologically different. I am a man despite the fact that my muscle mass is different. I am a man despite the fact that my fat cells and connective tissue are actually virtually arranged instead of crisscross. I am a man despite the fact that I genetically have thinner skin. That's not a reference to being attacked and my emotions, by the way. I'm pretty thick-skinned there. I'm a man, despite the thousands of genes within my biological DNA that act different from men's genes. I am a man, despite my childbearing thighs and hips right here that are nicely hidden behind this podium. I am a man, despite the elastin in my body changing and shifting every time I have grown a human being so much so that my ribs went from a 32 to a 34. And I am a man that, despite co-creating, growing, and sustaining that human life three times with everything that was developed in my mother's uterus. And in case you guys haven't caught on, I'm being a little sarcastic right now. <laughs> because I cannot be a man. And men cannot be women.